It's the network. That same uh, subject uh, for Spotify. What what have you found, uh, Corey, that works best to run the ads from? Because, I, okay, from for IG, do it make sense to do it from IG? I guess so because. You know, ideas is it's only a minute, right? So if if your little clip is hot for a minute, should you bounce them to the video, the YouTube video, or should you bounce them to the Spotify? Or that, that's one question I got. And um I guess the second question is um it do it make sense to like, okay, just cut out the YouTube and just run ads on YouTube separate? And then bounce everybody from IG to Spotify, and then Facebook would just be its own, you know, be its own thing. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I I think I do. So, um, short answer, short answer, no right answer. Um, I would say I like we personally use a combination of Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube ads. Right. Uh, I've seen conversion rates be higher from someone's YouTube ad. Uh, they have higher conversion rates on YouTube ad than like their Instagram ads or their Facebook ads and vice versa. Or really like across the board. So like short answer to that is no right answer. I will say if you were trying to pick between those two of what to have them land on, I will have them land on the YouTube because you can retarget on YouTube. So if they go to your account, then like, we're real big on collecting people so we can keep getting in front of those people. So if they run to your Spotify, or let's say you have them linking directly out to your Spotify, the problem with Spotify is they don't give you the ability to pixel your Spotify account. They don't give you any real way to, you know, check back in with people who made it to your Spotify account. Whereas opposed to if someone makes it to your YouTube account and they watch a video or they subscribe, or I think even if they just like click all the way out to your YouTube account, you can retarget them with YouTube ads. Um, oh, I didn't, I didn't, I, I didn't, I wonder where you could do that on, on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, you can retarget on YouTube. Really Okay, big. so, so can you, can you pixel a smart link? Yeah. Hmm. I, I don't, I'm not sure if every smart link brand does it, but majority mm -hmm. of them let you do it. I know we use one called Toned In, Toned In lets you do it. Mm -hmm. uh, but most of them let you do it, because that's a really big thing. Like, that's a real big thing with smart links. Like, if it doesn't let you get that far, it's almost not worth it. Um, yeah, right, like right. a very small, small scale campaign where you feel like, I don't know, you're really you're not gonna need the data anytime soon. Yeah, cool, you can get away with it. But the big thing, like, like I said, we're real big on pushing to something where you can retarget on. So if you land YouTube, and then it takes you going from YouTube to Spotify, cool. Personally, I'm a little bit more okay with that. Some people like you may not be. If the goal is directly to Spotify, then. Um, on a really advanced level, you build a landing page that's really specific to your Spotify account. Right, um, right. It's like more simplified level, push it out to a smart link, put Spotify first, and then, you know, let people click out to it from there. Okay. Uh, and an another question I have is, um, I mean, we, we pretty much found success on Facebook. I mean, as far as, you know, engagements, uh, fan retention, uh, brand, you know, brand awareness for for the most part. You know what I'm saying? We found more success on that. So the the, the Facebook numbers look awesome. When I say Facebook, I do include IG. They look good, but the YouTube numbers looking like, you know what I'm saying? It look it look completely uneven. Like yeah. as far as a, a one video be over here booming, and the video on YouTube is just crawling. You know, organically. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, I guess rec going forward, do you recommend just kind of spreading the budget out a little more to, you know, hey, maybe we need to do more over here on YouTube because, you know, you everybody could go to YouTube. Everybody go to Facebook. Everybody go to IG. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, do you recommend it's like, okay, y'all need to, may need to even that love out as far as with the bread. You know what I'm saying? Well, so you're saying that when it comes to Facebook, your stuff moves out really well organically on that? No, well, what organically, well, I won't say organically. It's like, okay, if a, well, like one video probably have 100,000 and on Facebook, same, I mean, on YouTube, face, same video have like 3,000. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? So I would say 
if your content moves well enough on Facebook that you're willing to sacrifice some of the budget for over there putting YouTube, I would I would start with that. Yeah. But if not, one YouTube is a different is a different animal than Facebook, right? Like all platforms are are really different beasts from each other. Where a lot of your YouTube growth is going to come from one like optimizing the channel to just like make sure it's it's cool for like that headline, mm -hmm. uh, headline header playlists like all that stuff thumbnails for the videos and then like certain like seo stuff on the back end so like having certain keywords in the videos like keywords, mm -hmm. uh, all that shit um so i would say yeah start to invest some money into youtube ads either that mm -hmm. or the influence the shout outs on there and then just keep doing the stuff that you're doing on facebook you know like i say you can put a little bit of your budget there or none and just kind of rely off the strength of just what comes organically from the content Especially if YouTube is a big is a big one to push over there, but you can build up for free completely, like or for completely free on YouTube. Like I said, just treat and get like a YouTuber, um, which means just like producing a lot of content, posting really consistently, and yeah. doing all the other like SEO shit and just like you know, shit that makes the channel look nice. So it really is the it really is the which one you willing to do? Are you willing to run your YouTube account like a YouTuber for a minute and spend the money on the other place, or if not? You know, come put money over here and be less active than a YouTuber would have to be over there. But, you know, you're spending a little more on the advertising side. Yeah. You're trying to make up for what you're losing from the content spreading out. It's the network. <laughs>